I'm throwing that out if anybody has any ideas. Well, guys, wide open. If, you, if you've got an idea that sticks, or you throw it out there, but it, don't even. It's better not to even talk about it. Actually, it's better to just do it the same if he likes it, what it sounds like. You've moved on, and he didn't even bring it up because it it, it, it worked. But I have a I have a story of. Um, there's a scene where we go down to the dock, and uh, I think that must have been my third or fourth sort of day on on set. And as you do, you come prepared and, and, and ready to rumble and guys there waiting on the dock and uh, I approach him and he's like, ah, all right, Henry, how are you? He's like, yeah, yeah, pretty good. He's like, all right, fuck the script off. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna come over here. You're gonna tell him. And he's like, go over, figure out what we wanna say and we'll come back in we'll, we'll make it a little bit more proper. And so it's, it's truly a collaborative experience. And I think some of the best one-liners and the best moments come from the inspiration from where you are and in the environment and, and the uh, the set itself so um you just have to as um, mcconaughey says just be nimble you got to be agile i think you want to keep a uh, creative process active and everything you can do uh in part to keep everyone uh, awake right uh, so as the more active it is, the more interactive it is, the more live it feels, it feels in the moment. And you know, it's funny because rather embarrassingly, I just watched this film and rather embarrassingly, I enjoyed it. And the other thing is, is that I completely forget what I, I as I'm watching it, I'm trying to work out the plot. So I may have constructed the plot, but I've completely forgotten about the plot. And I think you sort of want to hold on to that as you're making the movie that you, you want to keep it active and you really you don't want to think about the rem rem a remembered past or an imagined future you just want to be in it when you're in it and so like, you can construct this whole thing but the truth is is that the, the gold comes from the moment when you're there and you're trying to construct it and that is a collaborative process and really I suppose my job is to encourage everyone to dial into a frequency because once you've dialed into that frequency everyone has a lot to offer within that frequency uh, so I, I got that I got the notice from from the wings so that it is, it is time to end our time so I have a I have a, a what I would say is a, a poor question to end things uh, but it might not be uh, but I'll I, I now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to remind the audience also so we're gonna we have one more question um, and uh, but as we're gonna be leaving the audience these guys have to get out and get to their hotels so I want to ask everybody to stay in their seats so they can get out and uh, um, safely get to bed because they have a long road of publicity ahead um, but uh, uh, so the question is about look and feel and style and I'm wearing maybe not the greatest uh, facsimile of a Guy Ritchie universe but uh, what really struck me was Coach and his squad and their uh, their track suits and everybody was defined by like a very distinct sense of style uh, do you have a do you have a, a team that works with you on on the look of the costumes is there any input from the from the gang here as to uh, what they think that the, that particular character should be once they're in the fold. So how does that process work for you? Um, again, I think that's all part of the frequency and I think it's all part of what you, what the actors want, or you want, and once you dial into that frequency, honestly it's like steering the head of the tiger. It's, you know what a good idea is, you know what a bad idea is, if you are paying attention at the time. And I have to tell you, I like those tracksuits. As I was watching that, I thought, those tracksuits are good tracksuits. <laughs> they are good tracksuits. And not commercially available, my friend. That has to be a custom job. Well, actually, Mr. Bill Shit. Block, who's the producer out there, will tell you they are commercially available. <laughs> not in Austin, Texas, my friend. <laughs> they will be soon. I mean, soon. <laughs> well, uh, I gotta say, I had a blast with this movie. And I have one more assignment for this group and for the 13 cities that are also watching. Uh, you know, we, we built this theater uh, to support movies that we love. And, uh, you know, movies, you know, there's Star Wars. Everybody's going to like Star Wars. And, you know, Frozen made a bunch of money. It's your job to be part of this team. If you love this movie, tell your friends the old-fashioned way, social media, around the water cooler. Say, go and see the gentleman because it's awesome. Uh, 
awesome. And uh, there's a hashtag, right? Somebody, somebody have a hashtag for me? Oh, it's just right up there. Man, all right, so that's enough for me. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our director and the extraordinary cast of the gentlemen. Thank you guys for coming and spread the word. And now let's give them a minute as they peaceably exit. <laughs>